According to a news that was published by the leadership newspaper online this morning, it was reported that hopes of the former governor of Aguaybom State, Senator Gosa Pabio, to emerge as the president of the Senate of the 10th Assembly in June might have been dashed by some aggrieved senators being led by the Senate president, Ahmed Lawan. Leadership newspaper reported that Ahmed Lawan, who had spearheaded a movement in the Senate, to frustrate Senator Gota Akwabio's aspiration, beseek the president-elect's residence on Tuesday to demand the withdrawal of his support for the former minister. A source who spoke under the condition of anonymity said that as soon as the president-elect Asi Wajibola Ametinibu returned from his foreign trip to France on Tuesday, the outgoing senior president Ahmed Lawan searched and secured an appointment with him. He said he, Lawan, was cleared to see Mr. President-elect on Tuesday, April 25th, and he came with a number of senators for the meeting and after the exchange of pleasantries, Ahmed Lawan went straight to the point and explained their mission to Tunibu. The source said Senator Lawan did not waste further time as he went to tell the President-elect that Senator Gosu Akpabio, whom he is supporting, for the position of Senate Presidency of the 10th Assembly cannot fly in the National Assembly. Lawan also told Tinibu that the four senators following Akpabio about won't vote for him. He was referring to Senator Ukwayemi Bamdele from Ekiti Central, Senator Solomon Olami Lekan from Lagos West, Senator Barao Jibrin from Kanu North, and Senator Tokumbo Abiru from Lagos East. Further talking, he said these senators are the in following Akpabu up and down, but they won't, they won't, would not vote for him in a secret ballot because Senator Akpabu has a credibility baggage. My viewers at home was in reaction to this as uh, uh, Lawan uh, told Tinibu that the first senators following Akbabi Ibad will not vote for him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is a big statement. Say the first senators following Akbabi Ibad will not vote for him. All right. Uh, what's your take on this? Uh, please uh, drop your reaction in the comment section and your voice be and clear around the world and ensure you subscribe to our channel. For more update uh, from the Express on senior presidency, Lawan told Tinibu that the first senators following Akbabi Abad will not vote for him. Okay, please uh, drop your reaction in the comment section and your voice well and clear around the world and ensure you subscribe to our channel for more updates from uh, the Express. Plus, two to read the rest of stars that says uh, they are all criminals throwing shades and stones in a glass house. One day the entire house will collapse on them all. Rats eating rats. Lubatan. Say rats eating rats. Lubatan. Okay, plus three to uh, okay, reply to himself and he says, uh, Your entire house will collapse on you and your family, and your entire family will finish. Very soon, you people will start paying for your defamation people's character if you cannot provide evidences of your accusations, idiot. Okay. Then, uh, plus two, three again, reply to himself uh, saying, uh, your response has shown your inadequacies and your level of thinking. Undoubtedly, you are you are uneducated as well as not being abreast with the scheming games of the politicians. Okay? Then, uh, guest to plus two three says, uh, Shut up, fool. You are one of the criminals. Steve Akora to plus two three says, uh, Are you not the ma main idiot but leaking politicians? Shameless bigot. Dean D says, uh, Wela keep, keep willing. Say, Wela keep willing. Afolami Bamidele says, uh, Look at what Igbo man is saying 
from his mouth, useless people. Then uh, Shine Ye Nuagbara to plus two receives an uh, on payroll member to counter narrative. Well done. Plus two theory here uh, to Dean D says a uh, beauty without sensibility in deciphering that these criminals have no good plan for this nation. All about self, self, and their immediate families and relatives. I guess you are a side chick. Plus two three to Afolami Bamidele says, uh, Okay, speaking you about there. Let's move forward, please. Adeshina uh, here uh, replied to plus three say, saying, uh, Yes, they are all criminals, even all Nigerians are criminal except Peter B. the Saints. Okay. Then uh, plus two three uh, to additional says uh, I have heard you loud and clear. Okay. And uh, Adam here says uh, so Lawan with a rob mandate has the man to talk about somebody's fitness. We expected him to go and hide himself for the shame he and SC committed. Okay. Oh, what do you mean by SC? Uh, please, uh, 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 lights. Then uh, John Namdi to Adam says, uh, Do they still have shame? Buari Abiodun uh, here uh, uh, says, uh, Senator Olamilekan is now representing Ogun West and not Lagos West. Then, a uh, guest here to Buari says that he is presently representing Lagos West. It is in the 10th Senate yet to be inaugurated that he will represent Ogun West. Okay. Then, a uh, uh, M9 uh, here to Buari Abiodun says uh, he is still Lagos up, up to the end of his tenure. He is still Lagos up to the end of his tenure. Okay. 2B says uh, who you decorate? Where is his okay, where is his present central district? They are talking about present. We are talking about future. Okay, then uh, EM says uh, yet it's Igbos that that are your problem in Lagos. Say yet it's Igbos that are your problem in Lagos. And this is all we can take for now. Thanks and God bless. Uh, do well to spread the report. Share this report across all these platforms. Not to you and bye for now, please. Thanks so much for listening. Okay.